to take some cuttings from uh, my grapevines, which are right here. Um, I did this last year and had a pretty good uh, success rate. They were about 80 to 85 percent, and it was my first time um, doing that. And they grew quite well. So. Um, the reason why you'd probably want to do this is if you have just a couple grapevines and you're looking to add more, there's no need to go out and buy multiple grapevines. You can actually take cuttings, if you like the variety that you have, take cuttings from that and just uh, continue planting them in your own backyard. So what I do is I take cuttings. Uh, right now is a really good time. They're still dormant. So you want to make sure that they are dormant, that they haven't budded out. The winter is the best time. I do mine early spring. That's what I did last year. That's what I'm going to do again this year. They haven't budded out yet. It's still quite cold. And I'm just going to take the cuttings and then I'm going to make sure that I group them together, label them so I know which varieties that they are. And then I'm going to put them in my freezer or the fridge, whatever you choose, and keep them there until it's nice enough, at least what I did, till it's nice enough that I could put the pots outside. And I let them grow in the summer and they did quite well. They leafed out and they weren't very big, but it takes about two to three years to establish a good grapevine. And um, when you're doing cuttings, that's about the time that it needs to, to take. So I just put them in pots and then I'm still probably am going to have my pots. I just had my last year pots in the greenhouse. I wanted to see if they'd survive in the pot instead of planting them in the ground, just as an, ex an experiment. So we'll be checking that out later in the year to see if they survived in the pot in the greenhouse. But um, eventually I'd like to put out some, a few more grapevines in my own garden. So if you do choose to propagate, I don't know if there's any restrictions on the grapevine varieties that you have if you're allowed to propagate you need to kind of look into that that's something you know if you want to take on do some research because there's some varieties that are not um, you're not allowed to take cuttings of and propagate so and that goes for a lot of different things it goes for even rose bushes trees and things like that even raspberries so just do your research your due diligence and look at see what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do um, especially um, if you're going to sell them but these are just for you know my own backyard and um, just to grow the number of vines that I have and it's neat to know that you don't have to go out and buy in big bulk numbers and spend a lot of money you need to have one or two good established grapevines and take cuttings from that the other thing is, is you want to take um, hard wood cuttings. At least that's what I did. So you're not going to, like, I'm not going to cut last year's growth on my grapevines. I might cut the previous year's growth just to make sure it's well established. Um, well, let's get started. My hands are frozen. Ah! You know it's cold enough when, eh? Where's the other glove? I wonder if I even have another glove. Oh, I do. I think the chickens are froze. The sun came out, so I let the chickens out. However, oh, it's I'm just going to get to the little cutting from here and I want to cut on an angle. And I'm just going to cut about halfway. Yeah, and it's, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's green, which means it's still alive. So this should um, take root. And uh, I'm just going to collect a, um, a few from this one vine. I think I took some for now. I'm going to take bit of this one. It's still green. Still... I'm going to take a cutting from this one about halfway. And 
cut on an angle. This is quite a big one here. And so what you'll want to do, or what I want to do, is the reason why I go a little bit under um, the bud here is this part here is going to be all in the ground. I'll probably put all this in the ground. That bud is where you're going to start forming your, it's going to start forming its root from. I could probably get two to three cuttings from just that one piece. Okay, so basically now I'm just going to bundle these up. I'll put a ribbon or something on here with its name, the label of the variety of grape this is. And then I'm going to put them in the freezer and I'm going to keep them there until the weather warms up. Technically, I could probably bring them in my house and pot them up right now and just give them plenty of water and they'll grow and they'll be bigger than if I just started them outside. But I don't got a lot of room in the house since I'm doing my seeds and we're having chicks soon. So um, I'm going to wait and I'm going to plant these the same as I did last year once the weather gets warm enough. And that's, that's how easy it is. So the trick is here is to always keep um, the right end down because if I'm going to do this and I'm going to cut it to length for multiple uh, cuttings, you can get confused which one's the top and which one's the bottom because one will root and one won't. So I've got one, two, three. I'm going to take a cutting here. This should be about long enough. And then I'm going to go there and I think I'm going to try this one. It's a bit thin, but I'm going to try anyway. There's one, two, three. Cut there. I'm gonna, just going to discard that one. And I've got another one here. So make sure you keep those ends the right way. And I've got a larger one here. One, two, three. And I'm going to go halfway. Again, one, two, three. Hold out there. You don't need much to start a little grape plant or vine. One, two, three. And I'll discard the top of that. And that's the importance of trying to keep the right ends right. Now, I'm gonna, maybe this will cut this, I don't know. This is all I kind of have right now. I'll do something a little better next year. It's very cold, so my hands are freezing right now. As red as your uh, mitts. I know. It's also a really good time of year to um, to prune your uh, not only your grapes but your trees if you've got any fruit trees. before everything buds out. Just want to make this a little bit tighter. Again. Doesn't need to be pretty, just needs to work. Right, I'm just gonna put this on because I don't really have a label right now. Hopefully this will work. Time will tell. If not, I might have endless supply of random grapes. All right, so that's one bundle down and I've got one, two, three. I probably have about five or six more different varieties of grapes that I might go and see if they need to be trimmed up. And um, we'll see you in the summer when it's time to plant these. Okay, so just a quick tip before you get out the stippers and start pruning your grapevines, it's always good practice to sterilize your snippers.